Let's begin with Yearly Love, then Rick Santorum. Yearly Love, we don't even really need to discuss. If you read the article, George Hughley said he intended to kill her, and his exact quote was thing along the lines of, I should have killed you. So, whether or not George Hughley, so to speak, consciously meant to do what he did, he subconsciously meant to do what he did, and he threw her laptop away in order to hide incriminating evidence, so George Hughley clearly had mens rea, which the jury missed. And that's why I said we don't need to discuss Yearly Love any further, because it's clear that George Hughley had mens rea, the jury dropped a ball, and unfortunately we have what you kind of call another semi sort of kind of Casey Anthony case here, except instead of first degree murder, which they should have given Hughley, they gave him second degree murder, and in some sense, well, obviously in a sense, found him obviously not guilty of first degree murder. As for Rick Santorum, when I heard his comments, I was figuring to myself, you know what, I'll tell you he's not the real Christian anyway. Rick Santorum. Rick Santorum, he's obviously a Vatican I Catholic. He, as I made a point on my blog before, he excused himself during one of the South Carolina debates. I believe it was a South Carolina debate in any way when he used the term Reformation. And I've blogged about this several times. All you have to do is go to my blog and look up Catholicism or Roman Catholicism. And you'll find that Roman Catholics, except for Evangelical Catholics, don't believe in the inerrancy of the Word of God or the Bible. So, unfortunately, because my other computers getting repaired I can't do any scanning or political cartoons right now but if I could do a political cartoon you would definitely see me express in that cartoon just exactly what I think about Rick Santorum and about how Christian Rick Santorum is which to make a long story short Rick Santorum is the one who's not a Christian at all <laughs>